Hello surfboard lovers, welcome to boardshop.co.uk, surfboard review time. <coughs> Much anticipated, the fish beard from Channel Islands. Uh, Merrick's latest creation, uh, it's been in stock for a little while and it's going super well. So what is it? It's based on the neck beard, um, which has been a perennial favorite, <coughs> but quite specific in what it's designed to do. You'll have seen various videos of people boosting big airs and what have you. And one of the CI riders, Connor, said to uh, Marek, let's get this into a twin fin, let's give it a swallowtail, and we're gonna have a board that's gonna be a performance type fish. So they set about uh, redesigning the neck beard, and the fish beard is a result. Obviously it's got a swallowtail, but also what they've done here towards the back of the board is take the traditional hip out, which is always in line with the rocker and the fins to give it that extra bit of performance. So you've got a longer rail line through the tail for more hold and for more drive when you're surfing off the back foot. But the traditional swallow tail to carry the volume through, but take uh, carry the length through, but carry a little, take a little bit of volume out. So you've still got flow and glide of a fish. Now it's not like a traditional flip fish like the CI fish or anything like that, which are very lateral boards. This is designed to be a performance board and surf more aggressively and more vertically off your back foot. But the beauty of this board is, <coughs> it's still got a bit of volume through here. It's got the performancey kind of front third, but what it means is you can surf a little bit forward and it is more flowy and glidey like a more traditional fish. But as soon as you get your foot over the fins and start pushing it, then it is a vertical surfing board. You can push it really hard into uh, aggressive turns and especially when the surf's a bit better um, or a good set comes through or what have you or, or it improves when you're out, you've got a board that gives you the flow and the glide for poorer conditions but has got that performance potential as well. Um, <coughs> it's in the spine tech as well as the standard PU uh, in stock right now. Um, but the PU I think is going to be the more favoured model for the, um, for the kind of approach that people are going to take to this board. It's going to go in waist high plus to overhead size waves. Uh, ability wise to surf it, low level intermediates will probably surf it a little bit more forward and more traditionally in that glow and um, kind of flop glow. Do I mean flow? I've just invented a new word, glide and flow, glow. Um, <clears throat> but it has got all that performance potential. That's really what this board is about. Think about uh, comparisons like the uh, Christian Pegasso type performance fish it's along those lines. But the clever thing is, is that is extending that rail line into the tail to give you that drive off the back foot. Now, it means the board bites nicely. It doesn't slide out, even if you push it really hard. <coughs> and with that twin fin setup, obviously gives you the speed out of your turns. Now, this fascination with twin fins is what drove the uh, design of this board. And more and more people are getting into twins because of the speed and the loose feeling that you get with them. I think for most people who want to add a fun board to their quiver or have one board for a, a range of conditions, not a groveler type board at all though, um, it's going to be a really good fun addition because it gives you that option of flow in the glide but also performance off your back foot. Uh, in the PU, uh, it's obviously a lively feeling board. The spine tech, you probably know about spine tech already, but the epoxy uh, design in that gives you a bit more spring and importantly, keeps the performance of the board for longer over time. PU deadens eventually, uh, epoxy spine tech construction doesn't. It keeps that pink, that kind of um, pop and that spring in the board for a, a little bit longer. <coughs> Controversially, we've put it um, with the Futures K2 fins. It's recommended you ride it with the Channel Islands uh, twin, comes from Futures. It may just be that we've sold out of that and that's why we put these in but never know. But there it is. Overall, it's a really nice looking template. Performance front end, still keeps a bit of volume through the middle and under your chest. The rocker is accelerated a little bit into the tail as well to help with that release into turns and the performance. But all in all, it's a winning package. And unlike a traditional fish, not just for summer waves, this is the sort of board that you can surf in a really, really wide range of conditions. Um, volume wise, the 510 comes in at 32 and a half litres, so it is um, pretty average on volume. It's not overly generous, but it is very much pitched as a performance fish uh, for the intermediate and up kind of surfer. As I said, in the PU or the spine tech, it's going to be fun.
Um, it's online right now, uh, and the channel owns fins if they're not, will be very soon. Uh, you can part exchange your old board against it, buy it on 0% finance, all the usual stuff. And if you need any help with sizing, what have you, just give us a shout, you know where we are.